Okay, so right now we are going to do a taste test of this one. Uh, in case I forgot, uh, please comment, like, and subscribe to this channel so that you will be up to date on the newest vegan foods that I will try. There's the ingredients. I've already taken a couple out, so it's nor normally more full. And I've already smelt it. The first time I tried to eat it, it didn't have much flavor, but I didn't actually smell it really well, but... It does have a very strong smell, like blue cheese or gorgonzola. Gorgonzola. Yeah. I get that pungent blue cheese gorgonzola. But the actual puff is really light. Zoom in on here. Here, um, when it says baked, you can definitely tell. Like, there's, there's not, they're not oily or greasy in like any way, no way whatsoever. They're very airy and light. What that is. That's weird. Not too salty. But then again, I haven't had anything from them salty so far. They are addictive. There goes that taste again. Really strong gorgonzola taste. Um... They're good. Um, I would like to compare these to a brand called Earth Balance. Earth Balance is not as a... Uh, well, Earth Balance is, is similar. And it's a little bit more oily and more of a... Mm, not, not so light. Like it's a strong kind of kick you in the... Or punch you in the, uh, the taste buds uh, kind of taste. And to me, it's more cheesy in a way that, you know, it tastes like white cheddar. This, it does taste like cheddar in a way, but it smells. If you like gorgonzola or blue cheese, I would recommend these over the Earth Balance. And if you like something light and not so greasy, if you don't mind something more greasy, than this, and you're looking for more like a white cheddar, then I would definitely do the Earth Balance. And the Earth Balance does have a buttery taste. These, they do once you get past the um, that gorgonzola. All right, thank you. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I will try the other flavors. And anyway, so yeah.